Hello everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, I want to show you what is truly one of the most compelling COVID-19 reports and visualizations that I have seen by far anywhere over the past 12 months. And <clears throat> we're looking at it right now. This is a published to web link. And this particular report was created as part of one of uh, the latest Power BI challenges that we have run at Enterprise DNA. And I want to use this video as an opportunity to show you all of the incredible uh, features that have been built into this report to generate enormous insight into what is actually going on with COVID. And I'm hoping that this will inspire you to see what is actually possible with Power BI. I mean, I think that is uh, half the battle in most cases is really getting your creative juices flowing and set and 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 understanding what you can create inside of Power BI. It is unbelievable what you can do inside of Power BI if you um, if you really master the tool and master a lot of visualization um, uh, techniques that I'll, I'll look to cover in this particular video. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you every technique here. This is just an overview video. I, you know, I've, I'm taking it upon myself to make sure that we give as much visibility as we possibly can to uh, all of the fantastic submissions that are going on in the Power BI Challenge because I I feel like they are by far and away some of the best Power BI some of the best Power BI work going on anywhere in the world easily. Okay, and so just to give you a little bit of an overview of where you can actually learn more about the specifics behind some of these things, that which we will go over in a second. Um, I'm going to show you just some of these amazing insights, actually. You know, I'm actually going to show you some real world insights out of this dashboard. This is not a d uh, dummy data set. This is a real world um, COVID-19 dashboard full, full of information that, you know, you could use to make better decisions around what you're doing as a country, as a geography, etc. Um, I'm going to put some links to this within, uh, you know, around the video. But um, all you need to do to, to find this is actually go to the Enterprise DNA forum where we have a whole lot of write-ups around all the challenges. And this one was actually a collaboration be, between a whole range, uh, a range of our Enterprise DNA experts. Greg, Brian, Jarrett, and Mudasir actually collaborated on this together during the challenge. And I thought this was a, a, a great way to showcase the collaborative aspect of Power BI development as well. And so um, they were able to bring their own unique piece of expertise to the table to create this master master report, this compelling report. And uh, if you want to actually learn about all of the different challenge submissions uh, for this for, for this round, Power BI Challenge 11, you can actually uh, find that on our forum as well. Okay, so what is good about this report? Well, first of all, it is visually compelling. If you look at um, the visualizations here, you'll see that you know we've got a world map which is which really looks like it's embedded. I'll, I'll go into some of these tooltips in a second. You know, it, it it looks like it's embedded into the report. It doesn't have like um, you know it doesn't have odd colors. It looks like it is sort of like part of the background of of the of this particular report. And the other thing to note about this report is that it is it is literally just one page, but there is a ridiculous amount of information embedded into it in various different ways. So. The, the whole premise of the challenge was how was to evaluate COVID data, right? And, and uh, the, the team here have gone about it and try to answer a question, how have countries dealt with the global pandemic, okay? And so <clears throat> we can first of all see um, a range of information from, you know, geographically around you know, how, how p particular areas have performed. But then you'll see that these really... Um, intuitive tooltips have been embedded and look out and they look seriously compelling right this is you know can you believe this is actually done inside of Power BI we have um, a representation in terms of the flag um, a, a dynamic you know it's a, a dynamic um, title for the country like this is in, all dynamic right this this entire tooltip is dynamic and it gives you detail about what's going on and then it is actually showing a breakdown of months as well which is which is you know, a really nice. This is a really nice visualization. This would have taken actually quite a bit to set up if you, if you, um, you, if you really dive into uh, how you create tooltips, because you would have had to create each individual. If you see here, each individual part of this tooltip. But once it all comes together with that nice background in it, this tooltip looks like it is like physically part of this application, which I really, really like. Okay. 
Then uh, there's also, so we can easily like look over countries and see how things have happened. And we can look at China and see that they've got, um, whether this is true or not, I, I, it is debatable as, <laughs> as, 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 as has been highlighted many times. But um, this is, uh, you yeah. This is, you know, we can look, this is what the actual, you know, it's an interesting thing, actually. It comes down to, you know, it shows you, your know, data is, you know, the, the, you have to evaluate if the data is true, right? <laughs> um, and this can really highlight that quite quickly um, and, and in quite an interesting way. Okay, so this is the um, the, the map geographically, right? Um, you can also click on these and do a deep dive into a particular location. And I also, you know, and I, I really like that, you know, visually it's it's really appealing, right? And the fact that they, they've also embedded this visualization down here and you don't actually, there's no axes on this visualization. It's it's so obvious what this visualization is, it's because of the color, the colors that have been used um, in, in this area of the report, right? And so I think that is very, you know, creatively that is um, uh, really well thought through. You know, instead of having to again have the standard standard chart uh, axes, the the standard chart labels, what the team have done in this particular collaboration is they have made it seriously um, obvious what is actually um, happening based on you know the visualizations down here. So you can sort of, sort of see you know what's going on from a high level, but then also sort of see it more on a on a time scale as well. Now, um, say we want to go to let's go to North America. Let's click on that and see what that changes it to. And by the way, you can actually play around with this as well. And I really recommend, I'll make sure you, the link is provided, really recommend playing around with this particular report and just seeing how innovative it is, how far they have taken Power BI, how they have taken some real world data and expressed the insights in a, such a compelling way. Now the other thing that's been built in here is another. Um, you know, if you click, if you hover over this particular area in the report, you've got this. Um, you know, this it makes it really, really intuitive what you should do. So you click over here and say, okay, well, how many deaths? View, click to view cases by deaths. And so if you click on that, what happens is the visualization changes as well to just that insight, just the deaths, right? And so again, a really um, compelling look and feel to the report like nothing actually changes in the report page except for all of the information but it's so intuitively easy to click around and and um, uh, and get to that uh, insight right now another compelling visualization here is some more statistical analysis that has been done okay so let's have a read through what can be um, analyzed here how is each country actually performing relative to their predicted outcomes okay this model explains over 60% of the variance in global COVID confirmed. Of the 153 countries selected, 63, 41% performed better than predicted, while 90, 59% performed worse than expected. So this is some sort of high level statistical analysis trying to evaluate how particular um, uh, countries performed or particular geographies performed, right? And so, and what they've also embedded in here, which I love, is these sliders. So what you can do is you can actually cha change the, um, th what you're actually looking at, like what what you're focused in on within the visualization by, by these particular sliders. I mean, isn't that just seriously epic? And so as we can see, and it's been well documented, USA has not performed particularly well for a variety of reasons. But again, look at this tooltip. It sort of sh shows you so many insights regarding just this particular country, right? And it's set up in such a compelling way. You know, it's, it gives you the cases, active cases, deaths, um, and then it shows you on a timeline how these are actually occurring um, on an absolute basis and a cumulative basis. There's also another visualization embedded into this report here. So in this visualization here, if I click on this um, mark here, what we can see is, again, some more information embedded in this particular tooltip. Now, this is such a good report that I, I, I cannot wait until we get a collaborative webinar or workshop um, by all those involved in creating this so we can go through exactly step by step how it was done. Because... To me, this is not only one of the best COVID-19 dashboards I've seen, one of the best um, um, 
dashboards in general the best reports i've ever seen in power bi it is just so compelling what you can do in power bi now, now it is absolutely insane um, you know you can become almost like an artist with what you're doing with data inside of power bi and just think of all of the effective ways that you can distribute this now um, as well okay so i'm going to round off there hopefully i've i've really inspired you um, and re and also you know please take the chart the opportunity to dive into this report yourself um, because you know not only can you learn a lot about uh, COVID, uh, but you can just learn a lot about you know effective visualizations effective storytelling and that is so much a part of um, working inside of power bi and you know i want to make sure that we continue to highlight this as, as much as we possibly can with all of these um, showcases and also power bi uh, challenge submissions that um, that we are curating at uh, at enterprise dna okay all the best um you hopefully you you like this one as much as much as i do and uh, really looking forward to your feedback okay see you later hey everyone thanks for tuning in to enterprise dna tv if you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial please throw the video a like it really helps us and we really appreciate it also don't forget to subscribe to the enterprise dna tv channel uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.